Hey y'all, I'm back. So this is the hairstyle we're gonna go for today. I call this the, <laughs> the Tamron Hall because this just reminds me of her so much. I think it's such a nice style. Um, it's basically just flipped up all going this way in the front and the sides are down with a little blend on the side and a little bit of play right here in the middle. So I hope you guys like this. There's a 360 at the end, so wait for that and let's get into it. this middle part close to that um, this middle section close to the part I'm gonna swirl it around and bring it up and I'll show you like that oh, that's how that looks so keep swirling come off that swirl and then the rest of this is just going to be wrapped like it normally would. Come off that side there. Down. The sides today are going to be pretty simple. Just that. Just like so. And bam. We're done. So here's the 360 of the wet mold, front, side, back, side, back to the front. And when it's dry, I'll show you guys so you can see that swirl a little better. Be right back. Okay guys, here's the dry mold so you can see. I'll do the 360. This is the side, back, you'll see that swirl, other side, then back to the front. Okay y'all, we are going to curl this hair now. This whole top section right here, I'm going to flip up to about right here and then the sides, I'm just going to curl them down and spike this little middle piece right here. So yeah, let's go.
just done curling, but I just wanted to show you a couple of tricks. Like right here where these parts are separated, what you do to blend that, take your fingers and you just run it along like that to blend that part out. That's why when you see me curl a lot of times, even though I'm curling pretty much down, I'm flicking it this way when I come off the curl or either I'm pulling it this way. I do that so that when I take my fingers and run it this way, that curl will go in that direction because I came off of it this way. Even though the curl itself is down, it has a slight tilt this way. So you can control the curl later and put it where you want it kind of direct it where you want it to go. The same with these sides. I'm just taking my finger nails and doing this. Going into that and all I'm doing is raking. So those curls will blend, hide all those parts. I'm not so good that I don't have to part it when I curl it. I mean, I have to know this section, this section, but I also know how to blend it out so that you don't see that. And this is all just gonna be a messy flip. Oh. So my piece goes there, this side's going to come down, and the same thing over here, I just blended those curls in, comb all this down, I'm going to clean up my edges, you know, make them a little more fleeky, fanciful, whatever, and um, that'll be it. I will come back and give you guys a final spin. If you want, you can put a little holding spray on this. I use my Sebastian Shaper. Um, I talked about it in another video. I think in my products video too. But they sell it at JCPenney. It's really good. It's a nice hold, but it's soft. And I'll be back for the final spin. Okay guys, everything's done. Cleaned up my edges. Um, this is the Sebastian Shaper if you guys don't remember it from before. And it's a really light hold, like I said, but um, you can still maneuver the hair if you want to and it will absolutely stay. And for my edges, I just use a little bit of, you know, Nairobi and a little teeny tooth comb. And I just made me a little wave and combed the uh, hair, the curls into that wave so it doesn't look disjointed. You want it to all look like it goes together. And I'm gonna give you guys a nice spin. So this is the front, this is the side, back, bam, other side, and the front. And this hairstyle to me proves that you can get salon quality results at home. Don't believe that you can't, don't let people convince you that you gotta every two weeks be going and spending you know, anywhere from 35 to $65 to keep your short haircut nice. You really, really do not. You can maintain your hair at home between salon visits. You can completely change your regimen and do your hair all at home if you want to, but there are definitely options for you that look just as nice. You cannot tell me that this hairstyle that's this laid and this sleek and this well put together does not look just as nice as if you go sit in somebody's shop for six hours and sweat and pay them a whole gang of money. I did this in my house, in my bathroom. I use a golden hot hooded dryer that I bought from Sally's Beauty Supply and I use the products that you guys always see me use. And it looks very nice. There's, I can go to a business meeting, I can go to work, I can go to an interview, I can go out with my man, I can do everything with this hair. And this hairstyle will last me for at least three days at my own house, free of charge. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, continue to support. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, for sharing my videos, for leaving all the nice comments, for trying out the styles. That really means a lot to me and I so appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Follow the links below to see my social media accounts, my Instagram my books. I am an author. You can check those out below and also fo follow my author Instagram page and check out my website. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.